Hello, hi, this is Paul Fan. Uh, today I'm going to talk about more uh, from, from the uh, point of uh, e-marketing because uh, I've mentioned a couple times uh, the importance of our online market is two, really two parts. One is the traffic, another one is email marketing. So uh, without the traffic, you don't have the subscriber and you cannot uh, you know, send marketing information to your you know, subscribers. And with, without the uh, email marketing, just have traffic, you, you are not able to continue to communicate with them um, because most of the people, they won't just uh, purchase or join you on the uh, first visit to the to your webbing page or website, etc. So they need a little bit time to think about, to know you through the email and to make decisions. So, since email is so important and uh, a lot of affiliate marketers also have a problem, so I'm going to talk about that today. And the most important thing is uh, uh, today's video is show you the website that you can check if the if your email server, the IP address <clears throat> has been blocked. Um, there are several ways to check. I have a video talking about using the uh, tool like uh, uh, this one called um, this tool, which is um, uh, more tree bl, and this is the um, bli.org. Okay, so this is one place you can actually uh, check, and of course um, you don't have to just using this one. You know, <clears throat> there are several tools, but actually. Uh, in, instead of going to ask you doing just choose one of them, actually I suggest to use all of the tools that is available. So every time I have the IP address for my virtual private server and set up the email, self-host email, I definitely or you know I just get the domain from the GoDaddy or Namecheat.com. I just want to find out if the uh, domain name. Okay, you can actually. Uh, paste the domain name as well because we know domain name is mapping to IP address so um, you can either way search by domain name search by IP address pass over copy paste to here and click send and they will actually search them and see uh, what how many blacklist and so this is I'm talking about today because I got uh, that's a message you asked me about you know they they got black list and uh, and they actually show me a picture you know the IP address and they they told me okay uh, this is a black list uh, by K I S A R B uh, R B L and this is by Open Resolver Check okay and so this is that pretty much right part and this is by I S I P P <clears throat> and this is by P S B L you probably have no idea what that is. I'm obvious to you. I have no idea too because there's so many um, the uh, the party the practice uh, party over there. Okay, so you worry, kind of worry. Okay, well, man, you know my my IP has been practiced so so many, and obviously you can see that uh, <clears throat> you want to be worried, and definitely you know you were afraid that your email server was going to be that you know freeze by the ISP by right, internet service provider okay or uh, and uh, you know you probably you know want to do is uh, go to this uh, spend um, house website and uh, you know this is website name <clears throat> and look up this one and see that uh, you can see that Okay, and found reason. Okay, so you can see that uh, your email address is spam. Why is email being blocked? Is reputable data provider? Is this automatically data IP address that are involved with sending low reputation email? Uh, mostly target static uh, spam emitter that are covered by PBL, XBL. Okay, so. This is a case that um, 
uh, your IP you know being banned and you can also check another website called blockblacklist.com and you can check this IP address and you can see this is banned by Spam House and then we can check this one okay but this chat then they see uh, it's is is banned by this okay so <clears throat> there is uh, ISP summary information you know some of them you need to worry about that spend house you know and uh, uh, basically spend house uh, like uh, ISP AT, AT uh, that the service provider, uh, what kind of service provider they using, what kind of uh, service, okay, to to check if they are in the spend list, and if they are in the spend list, guess what? And, uh, <clears throat> and most of the time, your ISP is gonna is going to uh, spend you, I mean, freeze your account, so you will be unfortunately have to uh, find a different. ISP and set up the new server, etc. Uh, if you actually see that situation happen, and uh, you can see those names. Okay, if you actually see those names over here, you can check with those names. See if they are there, and you can click the name. And this is called uh, wiki dot the word of the wise dot com slash ISP underscore summary underscore information. Okay, so you can check those. And you can actually click and see what they are. So basically, you know, those website, you know, show you what they are. They pretty much is, is uh, they want to avoid the uh, uh, email spam. So they have that third party spam checking program. So <clears throat> I'll put the link in below. So uh, you can feel free to check your IP and see if they are spam list. If unfortunately your IP or domain in a spam list, um, you may want to just pause your um email and to fix your um you know remove on spenders if not possible then you will have to just you know set up a new email server and try to send the less spending email so i hope this video is helping uh you guys there uh since a lot of people actually send email they never check their high pieces spend or not until they just get spent so it's just like a they never go to see the annual check for for the physician and uh, just uh, until they have a cancer, <laughs> so it's not good. You want to check, and once you find something you have cancer, at least you find that early. So it's yeah, stage one, two, three, four, and sometimes you just listen to spend list is still fixable. And if you continue listening one spend and two spend multiple spend list, guess what? And it become unfixable. Once it become um, if you got already <laughs> become unfixable, then it is unfixable, right? And just find out if you have just one, just have one spend this, you probably can still fixable. Okay, so I want to just show you this and hope that this video is helping you and you have a very blessed day, okay? Thank you so much for watching. This is Paul Fei. Thank you. Bye-bye.